Good morning. Welcome to your 815 Daily Operations Weather Briefing. We have some chilly conditions across the region this morning, seeing temperatures bottoming out in the lower 30s last night and continue to rise this morning up into the mid 40s for this afternoon. So a slightly below average day today after we saw uh, much warmer conditions yesterday. Saw an evening high yesterday at 67 degrees. So seeing about a 20 degree drop in our temperatures for highs in the past uh, 24 hours. So looking at our current surface analysis, you can see we have high pressure of Canadian origin building in from the west. We'll have another system, a uh, weak system that's going to move along the Carolina coast for tomorrow. It's going to give us a chance some rain showers. Taking a look at our current observation, few clouds at 10,000 feet, broken deck at 25,000 feet, northwest winds at 6 knots, temperature 37 degrees, and relative humidity around 60%. Taking a look at our current camera shot, you can see we do have that serious cloudiness across the region this morning. Taking a look at the satellite imagery, you can see we do have a good amount of serious clouds rolling in from the west. That will be the case for the remainder of the day. So taking a look at the 3-kilometer NAM model, the derived reflectivity here's this afternoon, nothing on the radar or nothing in the derived re reflectivity product. So moving to the overnight hours, going to see some showers try to move in from the uh, ocean, but our low levels will be dry, so looking like our chance of rain won't come until late morning and the early afternoon hours and uh, you can see here a little bit of some wet snow possible across central Delmarva tomorrow but not expecting any accumulations across Delmarva tomorrow uh, and here at Wallops we just see most likely a plain rain event. A slight chance we see a few wet snowflakes mix in as the precipitation ends but uh, nothing in the way of accumulation and nothing to be concerned about for the roadways uh, for tomorrow. So taking a look at our risk chart for Today, high of 46 degrees, a low tonight during the late evening, early overnight hours at 28, and then temperatures rising above freezing by dawn tomorrow. Winds will be fairly light today in general, northwest 6 to 11 knots this morning, becoming more northerly to north-northwest 5 to 10 knots this afternoon, then variable in less than 5 knots overnight. Our 24-hour terminal forecast is going to see VFR conditions today, and then we'll see some cloud cover build in overnight around 6 and 10,000 feet Still should see VFR conditions continuing through tomorrow morning. Just some ceilings lowering down to 6,000 feet by tomorrow morning with uh, cloudy conditions expected. Our tides are running normal. I'm looking at Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday, overcast, good chance of rain showers in the late morning and early afternoon. It'll be cold, high of 42 degrees. Rain shower chances look to be around 80 to 90 percent. So going to see some rainfall, not very much uh, overall precipitation, probably around a tenth to two tenths of an inch precipitation. So not very much and still continue to see those dry conditions across the area. Ceilings will be uh, coming down below 500 feet with those rain showers moving in. For Wednesday night, slight chance of low clouds during the evening, otherwise mostly clear and cold, low of 29. And for Thursday, partly cloudy, becoming mostly cloudy to overcast by afternoon. It'll be chilly with a high of 44 degrees on Thursday. Well, that's going to complete our A15 daily operations weather brief. I hope everybody has a great day. We'll be back at 10 o'clock to look at the next seven days.